that's the thing. We share that thing where other doctors don't, don't think really that. think that we're proper doctors. No, no. We don't touch the patients enough while they're awake. Can we dim the yeah. room just a little and, bit? And I'm just a drug Lava, can we dim the room a little bit? Okay, so to remind, we're going to talk about conventions and a little bit about the whole experience of the idea of let freedom like friendship, let freedom would be nice too. Friendship thrive. So, John, your memories of past conventions. Yeah. There's a picture from the uh, Denver convention. Uh, a little higher, Mary. We need to see each other too. <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> this is uh, Jim and Peter at the uh, Denver convention in 1995. Um, is it? Is, like, what's? We're not. It doesn't stop. Peter, I thought you kind of looked shell shocked. <laughs> I, I still have those running shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that leather Jim's wear? Is this okay? Either that or not. Are there, are there yeah. more shots? We're playing with the lights. Turn the lights on so we can move it to the next. Yeah, we might have a little more. There you go. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's. Oh, yeah. I think that's a fair representation of what that uh, convention felt like. <laughs> what am I doing here? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Where's the beer? I can't hear you. Speak up. <laughs> and there's another shot, also from Denver. What do you remember of the mean shell shock? I mean, I, 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 I remember that, uh, I remember walking out onto that stage and the, the volume uh, that, that came from the audience towards uh, towards me towards us, the, uh, and I remember the um, there were microphone stands set up for people to ask questions and, and, and yeah, people coming to ask questions and then being unable to speak. They were shaking and couldn't breathe and, and, and just. Uh -huh. What's, what's up with that? I mean, because the, the character was was not that powerful for me at, at that point, and it was it was odd that it had that that intense intensity of reaction from people who saw it. So that was, I mean, that that was kind of kind of strange. And I, I, I knew about as much about conventions at that point as, as William Shatner, you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my, my only, uh, you know, I'd seen, I'd seen that clip of him on Saturday Night Live. I'd, I'd never been to a convention, never seen any footage of conventions, I don't think. Um, so, so it was all just a... A, a learning experience, a surprise experience, and trying to figure out how this fit into my understanding of of the world. But it was it was way out there, and the 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 PWFC I think grew out of that uh, that convention conversations. Uh, that, that came from that convention, and it just the the idea of having a fan club was was just. I mean, it seemed ridiculous to me because I, w I lived in England. I did I did TV and film and radio and stuff in England. That back then it, it wasn't like now where you you do a show and everyone on the planet can access it instantly. This was. Stuff played in England that didn't play in the States. Stuff played in the States that we didn't see in England. So, so 
I was doing a couple of episodes on this show. Uh, so I'd done three in season three, and I had gone to Vancouver to do two episodes in Vancouver. But there were, again, there was no, okay, this character now will come back later in this season when we, when we move the show to, to Paris, we'll do some more episodes with you. That, that was not, you know, wasn't, there, there was no <laughs> offer on the table or anything. So I, it seemed to me really a strange idea that, uh, that all these people in America would, would want to be in a fan club for this, this actor that wasn't on their TVs. And, and then gradually, oh, and, you know, I, I said, sure, you want, you want to do fan club? Yeah, um, I'm, it's fine with me. Because <laughs> I thought it, it's, sort of, it's sort of nothing to do with me. It kind of is, but kind of isn't. I'm just providing the excuse. <laughs> and and, and um, what, what I, I still kind of feel that that's, that's actually how it works. I provide the excuse and the, the kind of the focus point for people who see this show, like this show, have the same sort of reaction to the stories and the characters that this show throws up, that, that a group coalesces around that, that experience and that worldview. And we still are coming together and enjoying that sense of, yeah, no, these, these people around understand me. They understand how I feel about things and, and how I respond to things, and we share that. You know? that, that first convention, I didn't understand any of that stuff. It was just an, an, uh, an onslaught, a sensory onslaught with no, no grounding point. And, and I, would, I would kind of try things, I'd do stuff, and, and, and some things would get, get great reactions. And I'd go, oh, okay. I, I didn't know what I was doing at all. There's, uh, I know there's a, a photograph of me, I think it was probably the first time I came on to one of the, the panels, just like, my, <laughs> like, a, like a quickening kind of thing. And, uh, I, I mean, obviously it wasn't planned because I, I had no idea what was was going to hit me when I came out. But that that sort of worked and was emblematic. And and I now look back and I get it. But at the time, I, I was just uh, it was all just an improv session. <laughs> <laughs> this was the same year. Yeah. And I think this was in San Francisco. I can't remember the name of the convention though. Syndicon West. Yeah. Syndicon West. That's Syndicon East. I've walked on my hands at a convention. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like the kind of thing that I like. <laughs> there are several yeah. you've done on stage, uh, and you were demonstrating that you had to walk on your hands. Yeah, my, my brain is addled with drink, you know. I don't. <laughs> So much I don't remember. <laughs> Walked in my hands. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask, is there someone, I mean, you had your experience with going out there and being overwhelmed. Um, is there an actor or a person that you kind of feel the same way about? So uh, some, of, some of the ladies here will remember. we. We did, we must have been at a convention. Uh, we, we went to uh, Cape Canaveral, wasn't that? Yes, the astronauts. Oh, there you it's go. True. It was there the you go. Yes, you were actually like us with the astronauts. It's true. <laughs> the astronaut lunch. Yeah, we, so we went to, 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 you know, the, to, to the space center and look at all the stuff, and then we had lunch with an astronaut. And I just kept asking him questions and just, and, and he's true. He was trying to get up and leave at the end of it, and I'm <laughs> following him. Was <laughs> and and I, I didn't I didn't register that I was doing it while it was happening, and then as soon as the door closed, I thought, oh right. <laughs> So, so yeah, 
I mean, not 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 that same sense of just being kind of uh, tongue-tied and not, be, but but that absolutely that same sense. That, of, that you would be part of that fan club. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah very much so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is an Ash would know or? No. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a, a name that I that I knew. I mean, lots of people have been to space. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. lunch with an astronaut. Uh, they, and I guess they do that as uh, we've got to get a free meal somehow. <laughs> <laughs> video but and then three friendship cons with you so we have all together put on nine of our own and you've been at 41 total wow, wow. wow. I, mean, I would not have guessed that no i was stunned that i've been to 20. goodness me oh, you're 41. um yeah was this the next and, and yeah. australia and yeah. england <coughs> right, so this is the, um, this is Tony, and yeah, this, is, this is November 98. And this, well, this is, wow, that's, that's Manchester, Manchester 1999, with Valentine's. Stan. I wasn't there. What happened there? We had the four horsemen. That was Birmingham. That was Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Third Highlander down under farm. I think right. it was, was the first one you went to. Oh. But you went, I think, the previous year via a conference call. So we did. We went to Brisbane. Brisbane twice. Right. You you were in you were in Brisbane. You were filming a movie in Canada, and we had a video of you. Yeah. Right. But I did go did to you, Brisbane. The second time. Brisbane second. twice, yes. Yeah. And Sydney once. Yeah. Brisbane is great. I mean, what a terrific city. Really reminiscent of Vancouver on, yeah. on the water and the, the, the way it's built, the way it's laid out. So, was this a very kind of first introduction to a smaller con? The first one in Denver was big. Well, Access mm -hmm. was already, Access was July 98. That was pretty small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think this one, like 84? This one was before Access, I think. On the round sequence. Uh, me, uh, I, I mean, I this was the so. celebration in Anaheim. Oh boy, talking of small yeah. conventions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, so Anaheim was the was it the uh, 10th anniversary? Or, or, I don't know. It was something. The Anthem Highlander Convention. Right. 
but they were, I mean, they were auctioning off the plant's car and yes. what? the adultery was there and Christoph. And, I mean, it was, that was a, that was big. There's a video for that. Have you seen the video for that? I've only seen the video of uh, uh, Adrian Paul driving the car around the track before it got sold. But, but oh, no, the, uh, the Anaheim car. I'll, I'll send you, I'll email you a link. Or post it. Awesome. Celebration with everybody. Yeah. It's ocean. Ocean. Yeah. I don't know why they made her sit on a chair much lower than mine. They just pulled this up for us. Uh, it's Alexa. Yeah, it was Easter and Passover. Yeah. Easter and Passover, they were just raised that one. Oh. This was access. You remember this? Um, that's Valentine's Day. Maybe. And this was the reverse Q&A. Yeah. Oh, where you were in the audience and asking the questions of the people off the stage. Yeah. It's kind of pretty funny at times. I don't think you had an idea what you were asking. But <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me some questions. Ask them. So. We, we just, uh, well, <laughs> what, a, yeah. what a tremendously talented guy he is. Does anybody know how he's doing? I do not. Oh, uh, he's been, he's been, a little off the radar for for a while. After Barbie commercial, New Hampshire thought about it a lot. Yeah. I was doing a computer commercial. Right. I recognize the voice there. That was a fun time, but that must have been a lot of work. That was so intense. It's you know some. When when you work as an actor, you you know you, you get the script and you, you, you prepare it in whatever way you can, and and you know that someone else is going to be saying the other lines, and you, you really you, know, you, you sort of you get a sense of what that character might be like, and then sometimes when they show up, you just in in a second you know that it's going to be it's going to work well you just you can feel it and Val was exactly that we, we met uh, he was having makeup done I stuck my head in the trailer just to to say hi and just instantly knew that this this was going to was going to work it's going to be good and, and what he brought to that character was just fantastic it, it made it was a it was an embarrassment to play against him because he was just doing such such strong work, uh, and, and and just such a, a Renaissance man. You know, he, we, when we did Queen of Swords in Spain, and he speaks Spanish almost fluently, speaks French fluently. He's uh, I mean just and, and just a, a great uh, a great wit. Intelligence, Artist. tremendous fun. What a yeah, artist. What a oh. This oh. was the third Highlander cruise. Yeah. And Sonata. Those cru um, cruises like that were kind of cool. Yeah, that 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 kind of everyone. Um, cruises are, are weird in in all <coughs> contexts. So to do a fan convention on a cruise is just great. I mean. Just, Weirdness on weirdness. <laughs> you have everyone else who's just trying to, uh, you know, they're stuck on the boat too and they're trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember you announcing that you were expecting your son, or your wife was expecting your son. Yeah. I was expecting him too. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew how that worked, I knew, knew what was going to happen. Well, the next one.
Con, if you're saying you have them in order, the Con after Ensenada was uh, Legacy. 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 Take a member of the audience. It's just for fun. It's not a matter of somebody who's pouring time. drinks. That's more like it. Yeah. There's another one. It was either that you see or you did that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it could be reunion, and you just don't have any HLDs or pictures, or it's out of order. This one I know. This is Reno. It's 2002. Is that Reno? That's my agent, Kelly. And Reno, because I think it's time for a plug about to thank Reed for getting us all together at 25 years. Um, Reno. Linda Wyatt had started the club after the gathering, right. and after Legacy, Vicki Goodwin took over as president, and then re in Reno. And she's been doing it ever since. And she said, here today. I'll just do it for a year. <laughs> 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 I gotta add to that. In Reno, is, um, when they also, you guys also divided us in areas. Yeah. Well, mind you, we chose Fresno and Club, as you put one of us in Northern, or some of us in Northern. And some of the southern, he said, can we go central? And he said, okay. So we're the central. God help you, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> we still get together once a month. Which yeah. 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 So friendship. Which, I, right. Right. which really brings us to friendship because maybe I'll just pause for a second because I think it's interesting that, you know, for a lot of people, they started watching the show on TV or they got the videos. But they just watched it and it was a lot of fun. And then there's some moment for all of us where we noticed that there was online listservs, that shows how old it is, they would, from things that have long gone away, Yahoo groups, early groups. Um, and then I actually have a lot of friends from those listservs who never wanted to come to a convention. But there's a moment where you say, you know, those conventions look like fun, I'm going to go. But that's a leap of faith meeting mm -hmm. people in real life. You know, and I know I hesitated, I you was know, saying, I, I went to Access, I could only go for one of the two days, and I thought that might be kind of funny, but that's all I could do. But I wanted, I was signing up for the cruise, and I thought, oh my god, on a cruise you're stuck with whoever you're with, and I've never gone to a con before. Maybe I should meet them on land in case this is a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm sorry, I have never had the experience, and so I... But the day of access was fantastic, and I went on the cruise. And in putting this together and thinking about it, so I have my friends from college. And there are a couple people from before college. But actually, every close friend of mine currently somehow or another came to me through Highlander, and a lot of them through the fan club. So that it's really interesting that it really, I, when I first heard, you know, let friendship thrive and I joined the PWFC. I just thought, oh yeah, sure, we have a lot in common. But I didn't actually think those were going to be some of my best friends. And so there are a few friends who were part of the PWFC, but I did meet them through Highlander online and then met them in person. One who, in the early days of the internet, used her work address for Raj, which is a funny place. It was a fanfic some erotic fanfic list, and but it said NYU Medical Center, and I said, I said, well, I think it's safe. And we were talking. She she was really loved abroad and all this stuff, and he, she had been a Jewish studies person, and so I wrote her and said, I see you're in New York. I see you're exactly where you are. Do you want to have coffee? And then we actually worked out that she was coming over, and all my friends in the early days were talking, you know. In the late 90s, people said, you're going to let someone you met on the internet come over? 
And I said, well, I know she where she works. <laughs> and, you know, she, she's one of the people I'm closest friends with, although she's always been shy. She's never come to a con. She's still active online with Highlander, but not in a con. So I think it's an interesting question, because we're self-selected. We're not just Highlander fans. We actually like to meet each other, and you all keep meeting once a month. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's worth thinking about and celebrating in the 25 years. Go ahead. Do, do you guys have any other kind of parallel of this? Uh, no. no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kathleen, yeah. 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 sitting here next to me. I actually went to high school with her and didn't realize that was her until we all met to see a movie of yours at the theater. Last senior thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we, were, we all met together and they said, well, how will I know who you are? I said, I'll have a Highlander shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> and we all met. We've pretty much been inseparable ever since. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and, that, and, and didn't realize it was Kathleen until we walked around the corner. I was like, <laughs> we went to high school. So, I mean, I've known her for 40 years. You know, or, you know, it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And they've been nice enough to include us seven public groups. Oh, yeah, yeah we just have car full for the <laughs> annual Christmas party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get together, you know, we it's celebrate birthdays. birthdays. You know, Lisa, she, she could make it. She, you know, she's the, uh, I don't know, she had something to do with it. I think she's in England. Yeah, something, yeah. So she shows a lot. She does a lot. Yeah. Right. A lot of writings that she does. But yeah, we get together, we, we crop, you know, we have scrapbooks of all of our songs. I was just, just going to say, I, I you know, I do. I, my, my first Highlander convention experience was Leeds in 2006, and and I do a couple other conventions regularly. The big Doctor Who in in this hotel every February, and uh, Worldcon wherever it is in the world, but none of them, none of them, form those kinds of personal relationships. Not just with you and the guys, but with everybody else. Like yeah. last year, at Worldcon, Ree and I roomed together because you know. Did, but this particular, this world, Highlander Worldwide, but particularly PWFC, is just so unique in yeah. that kind of fan I, convention situation. I also kind of, uh, this, uh, you're my first. How old were you? And like you said, when you think about it, we've now been getting together for almost 20 years. Uh, but I'm afraid to almost do anything else because I don't think anything can compare to this. I don't Spoiled. think that I'm going to find the same kind of generosity that I find Thank here. Um, exactly. I just don't. I, that's, I kind of have no other interest, so it's really sad to see this ending, but I'm telling you it's been a wonderful, wonderful ride, and I'll keep on it as long as it's there. But. Um, I'm more afraid to try something else because I just don't think it'll measure up. It'll be different. Well, yeah. It won't it'll be, be the same. same. Yeah, it'll be yeah. different. It won't be the same. But you know, yeah. when, you, when you when you hold that bar that high. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But there is there there is yeah. something very there is something very different about you guys as a group. I mean, there there is there, there is a, uh, a a curiosity and and a, a, a generosity an openness about you guys that, that I mean, it, it, it seems weird that it would just be this show, but... No, I, think, I think the emphasis really changed was when Project E was created. Right. Yeah. And then, that was about 2000, 2001, and yeah. we had an interest in you, we had a Tyler, we had an actor, but this was a tangible goal, and I think most of us, if not all of us, have very charitable natures that we see yeah. cut from in the world, and maybe we can solve just a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's when the focus of the club fit in partly changed, but added an in, uh, interest. Expanded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That hat was. How much it was? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah it was That's ridiculous too. how much that hat brought to. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it was a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I remember, remember, actually, all the way in the back. All the way in the back. I've been waiting very patiently. But you're talking about parallels, and one of the reasons it's my first con is for the past 19 years, I go to Burning Man and I'm a burner, and that. That is a group of people, and I know them 
once a year. And we don't even know each other's real names most of the time. <laughs> names. As you saw, it's Auntie M, which is. Yeah. And they're very, it's, it's, but we're family, and I can go to them actually if I wanted to. I've got a friend in Boston who's to take me around. So, but it's so, it's, it's a different world, and I'm kind of like freaked out because I'm kind of straddling my world and the, this one that I've always kind of wanted to do, but never really had the, you know, I focused on my other community, and it's like, uh, but everybody's been so great. I, yeah, I mean, that's, that, uh, that's yeah. the people that you are, and as Sandy said, we, we kind of self-selected into this group for for all these reasons. The Highlander was was kind of the start point, the jump off point, but then within that there's there've been these other and actually I, that story is interesting to me and and now that's resonating out into into charitable stuff and into uh, the, the you know each time it kind of it kind of focuses some sense of yeah no I, I have these qualities and these interests but I also have this and th this is this is really important to me and that therefore you are family to me and and I know that I can rely on you and trust you if you if I need something you'll you'll have my back because yeah. because because we get it we share this we share this territory See. Yeah, I, well, I was saying I, I, you know, watched the show from the beginning, but I didn't get involved in the fan community until uh, my first con was Sydney in 2005. But I had been online like late, late 2004. I missed the Paris tour, but I read like somebody wrote some article about it. Somehow I found it online, and because um, I was looking for the DVDs were coming out at that time for the rest of the season, and. Um, Randomly, just for whatever reasons, I never had in my life considered going to convention. I, I, I typed in Highlander Convention 2005 and up popped Sydney, Australia. I'm like, I want to go to Sydney, Australia. I knew nobody, and I got onto the Yahoo group, and you know, it, it is a different kind of community because I've been involved in other fan communities since, and 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 they have. They're definitely, they're great, but um, there were people getting into very serious discussions about the issues that were brought up on the show and we there was somebody i can't remember who it is now who would go through and did like synopsis that by episode by episode we went through the whole thing and and it was like these people are not weird you know because it's you know younger younger me was like you know your concept is all the trekkie yeah it could have been I'm me, but it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry <laughs> I don't think that way now. This is younger, foolish me. But anyway, but you know, and these people, it's like people that, you know, so intelligent and thoughtful. And uh, I, you know, found a real, real, immediately comfortable on that Yahoo group. And, um, and kept coming up to me, do you think it'd be weird if I went to, to this thing in, in Sydney, Australia? Like, go to Australia. 